Hello everyone, how's it going? Elliot here and welcome back to the Retro Future. Today's video is a little bit different. I'm very excited to show you these three things. They're incredibly rare and I have to say a massive thank you to Jamie for sending them to me. I've recently been getting into quite a bit of development stuff that, for the Nintendo systems. Um, specifically, I bought this Nintendo DSi development kit from Jamie and he very generously included as a gift, I didn't even know he was sending me these, three Nintendo distribution cartridges that are incredibly rare. And that is what we're gonna be taking a look at today. These things are not easy to get your hands on and they do not come with a low price tag. The other thing is they're an absolute ball ache to set up and there's quite a few videos about them on the internet, but it's all sort of geared more towards a younger audience. Definitely ask your parents before doing this because uh, it, it is a little bit uh, tricky. Hey mom, am I allowed to catch some Pokemon? What's a Pokemon? So we're going to be taking a look at them today from a generalized perspective. I'm not necessarily a diehard Pokemon fan, but I still find this sort of development stuff very obscure. They've even got on the back, not for resale, which is the kind of stickers that really make me happy. So yeah, without any further ado, let's take a look at them. Well, this is the moment that I have been working for the past three hours for. Um, I've mucked around with the DS settings and had to connect to something called Wimfi. I'll leave a bunch of links to stuff uh, to actually get this set up in the description because if anyone does have these and they want to try this themselves, then this will be helpful. But realistically, not many people are going to find them, so I'm not going to bog down into the details. But essentially, Nintendo discontinued the Wi-Fi connection back in 2014. So someone has, um, what's the word? exploited that's the word someone has exploited uh, a sort of a loophole and have managed to find a way for us to connect our ds's to the internet which is very cool so thank you to that person another nightmare thing that i had to deal with was this specific copy of pokemon which is the only one that i have that this will work with um pokemon platinum to unlock the mystery gift setting you have to do a bunch of weird stuff um in the game again i'll leave a link uh, to that as well but it's all very interesting the way that nintendo has organized this for these events which is what these things are so Nintendo organized Pokemon events back in the day and uh, these were a way that people who went to these events could unlock Pokemon from those events so there were special things that people could get only at a specific period of time so What's really cool about these is they were given to different stores so that people could go to all of these different stores at the time of this event and get their Pokemon. So on the back of these cartridges, you will see there is stickers which say not for resale and then it also says game card demo and this one is number 4189. Now I'm not sure if the number started from zero, but I have also got 201 as you can see and 2540. Um, so obviously that was a Way for Nintendo to track if any of these were to get out into the public so they can probably check now and then the, the store that let these go somehow will probably get into trouble but it does actually say on them must return to Nintendo also says not for resale so these things are clearly not meant to be something that I have my hands on right now so this is the exciting moment where I try it for the first time and I genuinely am very excited I have gotten to a part which I'm going to show you in a second which just shows me that it is going to work fingers crossed so I haven't gone any further than that um, but one of the things I have had to do is change the settings of this DS here to be in line with the dates that this event was taking place now all three of these cartridges have different dates and they're very hard to track down which dates are which um, so I have managed to find just one which is the Pikachu one which is probably the one that people are going to care about the most anyway so this is set back to 2011 when this event actually took place so I'm going to pop the cartridge in the back now this works on any DS it doesn't need to be a special kind of DS and both have to be connected to the internet so here we go we're going to turn on this DS and you can see it's going to pop up and look like a regular game and it's there at the top for us to select. It's called Ashes Pikachu Nintendo. So here we go. We're going to click on that and then you have one screen which actually has some nice artwork on it and then the other one just says channel and then has channel 7 on it which seems to change every single time I turn the DS on and off. So it says distribution pending there on the top screen on this sort of notice board and then at the bottom it says press the A button to start the distribution which is what we are going to do in just a moment next thing we're going to do is go into the pokemon game on our other ds which is one that i have refurbished 
So this is what we're looking for right here, mystery gift. Now, as I said, for this one, Pokemon Platinum, it was a nightmare. I think some of them just show up naturally, but this one has been a bit of a nightmare. Okay, and what we're gonna do is click receive gift, which is what is displaying on this screen right here. Let's press the receive gift, and then we're gonna scroll down and get via wireless, which is what we're gonna click on. DS Wireless Communications will be launched. Here we go, searching for a gift. We're gonna press A, distributing Pikachu. There it is, Ash's Pikachu. It bloody just popped straight up. Okay, here we go, receive this gift. I have not done this yet. Receiving your gift. Nothing's happening over here, I don't think. Oh no, it is, it's, it's actually flashing, it's blinking, distributing Pikachu. The gift has been received, it's working. I'm not necessarily a diehard Pokemon fan, but well, that's, that's not doing anything else now, but it does say the gift has been received. So look at that, we've just lived in the 2011 Pokemon distribution. <laughs> Oh man, that was amazing. Please pick up your gift from the delivery man in any Pokemart. R right, how do I do that then? Right, now to navigate through Pokemon and find the delivery man. How hard can that be? Pokemart, Pokemart. That's a red building. Delivery man, delivery man, delivery man. Is the delivery man up here? No. Where's the delivery man? Right, I think this is a Pokemart. In we go. Found him, I found him. Good evening, you must be Will. That's not me, but that's the person who owned this game beforehand. I've received a gift for you, here we go. Your party's full. Ah, what does that mean? Right, we are back to the delivery man. I've received a gift for you, here you go. Will received a Pikachu. Oh my goodness. Right, so this, I don't know if this is a special Pikachu. Presumably it must be. Pokemon, here we go. Pikachu. Summary. Oh, it does actually say underneath it, Ash, and it does look different. There we go, that was worth the 200 pounds. So there we go, I'm sure if you play Pokemon, that's probably a very interesting thing. I personally don't, other than the one on for the original Game Boy. Um, but if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Um, I believe that now what I can do is trade that Pokemon through generations of Pokemon games to get it onto the most recent DS game of Pokemon, which is quite cool. I suppose you could take your Pokemon game to school or your friends or work or whatever and show off this Pokemon that you've now obtained that you cannot just get in that game. That's a fairly interesting interesting thing for sure. Um, but what's more interesting is that I now have these very cool not for resale um, cartridges that as it says on it were not for resale. They weren't available. It's not a game although it is a DS cartridge. So yeah I really hope you have enjoyed this video. I've had a lot of fun. Massive thank you to Jamie and uh, I probably won't do this sort of style very often but I just thought this was quite a short video that I wanted to make it look a bit cooler by having some cool stuff in the background. I'll catch you all in the next one. First video of 2021. Bye.